Hey, what's up guys? In this video, I'm going to be going over the beat repeat and loop plugins. One is a loop manipulation and the other one is a loop creation. So let's get uh, beat repeat down there. Uh, so you just, I just double clicked and it appeared. So we have our interval and this is the amount that the, the length of our beat repeat cycle. So we have a cycle of one bar. So here is uh, quarter bar, quarter bar, quarter bar, quarter bar, right? So this is one bar. So we have a grid of sixteenths. So it will stutter, do, 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 right? For, we'll go, we'll go half of that bar. So for uh, half a bar, it'll stutter. So this is what it sounds like without. That's what it sounds like with. Right? So you see that this light will light up. So we have do, 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 do right? Uh, we can adjust the loop cycle, so it's half a half a bar, quarter bar, uh, or we can go up to four bars. So we can create kind of interesting phrases that way. All right. So how you make this sound a bit more interesting is you can offset. So the one thing, one gripe, and I hope that they do this in Ableton 10, is to kind of revamp this, uh, maybe with a kind of marker to show where it's looping, the a play marker, because this is a sync to your host. Anyway. So we can offset it so it will, you know, cut up the clap of sorts. And we can have our gate, so this will be the length of it. So it'll chop it up three times. Right, and then we can make the grid super small, 64, so we get like a stuttery uh, glitch hop type thing. Right. And that's a kind of a neat example. You can only have uh, one area that you uh, are affecting in this. You can pitch it up, pitch it down, and you can have like a variation. Right, you can do that. You can have a chance. So this is uh, the length of it, the length of your stutter. So 100%, it's an absolute so we'll go, yeah, it's an absolute, it'll stutter for a quarter of a bar, right? Because our interval is one bar, and this is a quarter of a bar. 50%, it will, it'll, it'll, sorry, it'll alternate between, you know, the full stuttery bits and, you know, not full. So it'll kind of do it half the time, which is... Kind of a neat touch. Also, you can pitch them. And that's really neat. So another thing here is you can actually filter what you are, the, the stutter interval here. And you have three options. You can, yeah, the mix audio blends the original signal. You can have it so, what is this? Uh, it mutes the original signal and you just get the, the filtered effect. In the gate, it will be just the uh, stuttered uh, the audio, right? So this is the beat repeat, and a, a cool thing about it is you can like duplicate, set your intervals a tiny bit differently. Uh, we'll offset that, and you can just go crazy, and you can add chain upon chain upon chain have like a different interval uh, we'll go yeah we'll go quarter right so you have that and you can uh, map these all together and turn them on and off and create interesting little fills and that is beat repeat so we're gonna pop open something else so there is uh, what they would do like back in whatever is they would have like a looper so it'd be like a tape loop and they would constantly overdub and overdub and overdub and this is kind of what the looper is all about uh, used I guess by like beatboxers or whatever and you can you record a specific interval so you'll record for we'll go one bar I'll turn on the metronome and I have uh, my synth here and we can uh, record and overdub certain things and you can keep on adding and adding and adding to it. I'll just give you a quick example. Come on. 
recording in process. What are you doing? What are you doing? Quantization global. What are you doing? Oh, this is bad. Yeah, one bar. There we go. You have to have the overdub set on. Overdub means that you completely, you know, you go over constantly. All right, fail. So that we have our metronome going, and we have it recording just over and over like a bar loop. So I'll just uh, I'll add something in. failing you know you do you, you can have this set to like 16 bars any kind of type thing and you can jam along and keep on doing overdubs and overdubs and overdubs and that's really fun so say if you're like have a, a drum machine or something like that and you're playing like percussion you can just do the kick and then wait and then do snare and then you can do hi-hat patterns and at any point you can drag it says drag me and you can drag this into oops no, you can drag it into its own channel and then you have it like forever. Right? And then, yeah, that's basically your looper. And you can adjust the speed and, you know, make it longer. And, yeah. I'm not an expert on these two plugins or devices, but, uh, yeah, I hope you, hope you learned stuff. Sorry for a little bit of a fail. But yeah, the overdub, always good. Just continues to add things over and over again. I didn't have that on. All right, uh, have a good one, and we'll be back with some more fun stuff.